to go back and check and see which installment this is. This is installment number six of Drugstore Beauty Brand Superstars. Hi friends, I have another installment of Drugstore Beauty Brand superstars for you guys. I put together what I feel like is the best products from certain brands. This time we're tackling LA Girl and NYX and we're going to go through those and we're going to find the very best out of that brand that I have tried. Now I do realize that both of these brands have a ton in them. So I am not claiming that I've tried every single thing and if you have something that you absolutely love from this brand that I don't talk about, you definitely need to leave it in the comment section for me. So that I know that I love NYX, but it is an enormous brand. And so I would love to hear your input there. Let's get into talking about the very best from the drugstore from these two brands. All right, we're starting with LA Girl. I feel like LA Girl has some fantastic complexion products. They have two foundations. If you like more of a matte foundation, this particular one might not be for you, but this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition definition long wear illuminating foundation and I lo have loved this for a really long time. I think I put this in a video like when I very first started my channel because I fell in love with it. This is a really good color for me even though it's not the perfect color for me but it's a good color for me when I'm self tanning and let me find out what it is called. This one is called uh, 642 and it says fair but it's not fair. Um, anyway this foundation is very luminous so if you're somebody that's oily you might not like it but if you're somebody that's normal to dry you might absolutely love it and the other thing about it that I like is that it is a very nice coverage but it's not thick so you can build it from medium up to super high coverage if you need that but it also can be sheared out if you want to put a little bit of maybe a moisturizer in it or you want to put a primer in it you could wear it more as a tint it is a really beautiful foundation and i really have liked it and it wears a long time throughout the day as well now i also have it in white and the reason that i have it in white is because this is a good color for me when i am self tanned but it's not a great color for me in the the winter time so this is a great mix in medium and i really like this one particularly because in the winter time if i'm trying to lighten up a foundation it does a great job of it and you can see how white that is it just really is a fantastic mixer for me with my dry skin especially in the winter now they also have their mixing pigments and this one is in more of a matte formula and this is a lot more thick than the other one is this one will change your foundation really quickly. I really like this. It is a really good mixer, but again, you can tell how much more pigmented it is than the one that is more luminous. So I kind of trade off. If I'm going for summer when I want to lighten something up, I would go for the more matte one. And in the winter, I go for the more luminous looking one. But these are great mix in pigments. And I also have the blue one. I've talked about this extensively on other videos. If you're somebody that struggles with all of your foundations looking orange or yellow on you way too warm you mix in just a tiny tiny droplet of this because it's extremely pigmented too and it turns your foundation into something more on the cool side because we know that blue is that cool tone it's really really good and i really like it now they do have besides the white and the blue i know that they do have an orange and they do have a yellow so if you're somebody that struggles with not being able to get it to be warm enough for you you might look at either one of those depending on whether you like more orange or whether you like more yellow in your foundation. So these are really great. Now, another complexion product are these concealers, and they have been people's ride or die concealers for years, way before anything ever came out high end or, or the more expensive brands. These were around as far as concealers go, and then they developed more of the color correctors, and that's what I have here today. I have the green one, and then I have the peach one. My favorite is the peach because I have very dark, dark circles under my eyes. They're almost like bluish purple underneath there. And a lot of people have said, well, why would you wear peach instead of yellow since yellow is the opposite of purple? But mine are just 
so deep and so dark i need something that brightens at the same time and so the peach is just great now if you're somebody that has very like oily underneath your eyes if you're somebody that sweats a lot i do in the summer i sweat a lot underneath my eyes this is a good one for me over the pixie one i like the pixie one but it's kind of a little bit more emollient than this one is this one will set down and it won't really break apart if you do have those oily under eyes so just go light on these you know you can always build them up later if you feel like you need more just start out really light and then this one which is the green this one counteracts redness so if you have a blemish you know you got a little breakout or maybe some red spots or redness readiness that you're trying to get rid of go ahead and try this one it's really good now you would want to shear that out a lot because if you don't you're going to see that green underneath your foundation because of how pigmented this is so just remember that a little bit goes a long ways with these two another product that i love from la girl so much is the luminous glow skin illuminator this one is so pretty if you use it with your primer or underneath foundation it just has a very soft subtle uh, sheen to it i think this one is in moonlight i believe they have two or three other colors i will make sure that i list all of them down below but this one is great for my fair skin and if you're somebody that again likes that warmth you might really like some of the other colors because i did notice that they were quite warm but what you're going to notice with this is as i put it on you can see that illumination and i put way too much on but you can see that illumination if you had put it across your whole entire face how pretty that would be so if you want to mix this in with your foundation if you want to use it under if you want to use it on top Top of your cheeks you can because it's going to give you just a very very slight subtle glow now i do have one from nyx that is a liquid as well that is a higher beam that you could use on top of your blush or right underneath your blush that would give you a way stronger highlight but this one is just very soft it's very subtle it feels very lotion like i can feel it sinking right into the skin so it's not going to disturb your foundation it's just really pretty as you can see right there this is a great product and you get quite a bit so if you wanted to use this like on your shoulders your decollete wherever you wanted to use this you wanted to put it on your hands arms legs it's kind of a big tube so you could go ahead and use it there another product that i really like from them these are called Called the velvet um, blush contour sticks they have all different kinds so they do have them that are more along the lines of a contour and then they have a bronzer colors and then they get into highlighters but i like this blush one and let's see i can't see what that one is i will get my glasses on again um this one is called dreamy i do have this one on underneath another uh, powder product it just makes that powder product grip and it kind of melts together and it just so pretty now i'll show you this one on the back of my hand right here this one is so gorgeous you can build these up hi ollie you can build these up and so they can be a lot brighter and they do have a bunch of colors this of course is my favorite pink but you could find whatever color you're looking for if you're looking for more of a neutral blush coral deeper they have all those and again they have the highlights too i haven't had that in a long time on the highlights but it's a great formula because it doesn't stay tacky once you blend it in just a little bit it just looks really great on your skin and it looks good on mature skin because it is that cream product and it's not going to show up any texture so i really like that one as well one of my very favorite things from them is their eye products i just barely did a video about their 16 pan palettes and the nine pan palettes that rival any high end i will try to remember to throw that up in a card but i will definitely link it down below for you and this fine liner that is in teal is so pretty i talked very recently about using liners to tight line my upper lash line to give that little pop of color without being overwhelmed by color and if you can see how teeny tiny this is i just love it it gives you the most fine little line that i have seen in a long time Hopefully you're going to be able to see that. It is just a really, really beautiful liner. It doesn't skip. It just glides along. It lasts a long time on your eyes. Personally, it lasts for me until I take it off. I like that they have this teal color in it. I believe they have a few other colors. I think they have a white, a brown, and a black. If I'm wrong on that, I'll make sure I list that down below for you. But I wish that they would come out with a few other colors with this. They might also have a purple in this 
on the LA Girl website. I'll make sure I list that for you. And then I discovered very recently these glazed lip paints. These are so much like the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. If you get certain ones of those, they're very opaque. They do have their sheer formulas, but these are really opaque. And I love these. They're so pretty. So I will look at the colors here in just a second. Like the applicator on it, it's just kind of a little plastic applicator. So you can dab it across if you want to. And this one, the first one was kind of a nude color. And then this one is kind of like a bright, um, almost orchid color. And I love orchid as a color in the summertime on my lips. I know a lot of people don't. They had a lot of different colors, but let me tell you what colors these are. The first one is Whisper. So that's the nude one right here. And then the second one is Whimsical. And that was the orchid color right there. So pretty. I love those. And then lastly from LA Girl are these two glosses. I love these gloss toppers. They're so, so pretty. They will transform any lipstick you have into something that glistens and catches the light and makes your pout look super juicy. The first one right here is called Flashing Opal. It is a cross between purple and pink and it just catches the light. So it's got a duo chrome to it. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? It's just so gorgeous. And then the other one, this one is called Magical. And this one flashes between pink and peach, and it has just a little bit of gold in it. And I hope you guys can see those on camera. Let me put a bigger swatch and see if you can. Just gorgeous. Let me put the Magical one in the middle of my lips. I got way too much on, <laughs> but it's just so pretty. Can you believe how that just shines up those lips and brightens them up? And then the colors of them just catch the light as you turn. And I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. They do have one other one that I haven't tried. Um, I think it's just kind of like a, a more of a clear look or kind of a pearly look, but they're so pretty on your lips and they're just, yeah, I love those. Okay. LA girl done. Let's go over to NYX. The foundation that I'm wearing today is the total control drop foundation. They re, uh, repackaged this just very recently. I had forgotten about it. This is one I had before they did repackage it, but the formula is still the same because I got a different color. But this color right here is natural. I love these. Okay, if you like the Catrice HD foundation that's very watery, very thin, because you like that thin formula, I think that you'll like this as well. It is super thin. And so in the summertime, it works so great on your skin because it has that high coverage just like the catrice but it doesn't feel super heavy on your skin it feels very very light i really like this foundation i'm wearing it on this side i'm testing another one on this side but it's a great color for me as i am tanning as well and i just it's so pretty it just evens out your skin tone it wears all day it's going to be there at the end of the day it's beautiful i think this is a little bit more long wearing than the one i showed from la girl so if you're looking for something that's super long wearing that would hold up under the heat this is probably a better bet than that one and even though i'm not um an oily person i don't really have combination skin it's more normal to dry in the summer this one is great for i think all skin types because if you are oily it still gives you a bit of a mattifying effect so it doesn't have any breakthrough for me you know i get a little bit sweaty right here and i will get a little creasing in my chin or around my nose at times but this doesn't so i really like it remember a little bit goes a long way and it's beautiful on mature skin it doesn't show up any texture or anything like that and i really love it i kind of jumped ahead of myself because i wanted to do primers from nyx first but the primers that i love the most reach for the most i do love my revlon primer that has the spf in it but i really like the way that nyx does primers and one of the ones that way way back i used is the nyx angel veil and i still love that one i still think it's very perfecting that is a dead on dupe for the hourglass veil mineral primer and it's beautiful on your skin it fills in pores it's great but these two right now i i don't have that one by the way my daughter actually stole it but these two are the ones that i am loving right now now this one which is the honey do me formula this one is the one that i reach for in the winter because it's super hydrating when you look at it i don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not it's a little bit messy i don't like this delivery system it's just got a little paddle right there 
there. It is extremely hydrating and it's kind of looks like honey and I think that was the point to making it look like that. It is so moisturizing underneath makeup and it has a little bit of a slip, not a, a lot of slip, but it has a little bit of a slip so you can feel it filling in your pores at the same time, but it's very, very hydrating. So when you get done, you're going to have that hydrated feeling on your skin and you won't have your foundation looking cakey because that is still very hydrated underneath. I really like this one, but probably my favorite one that I've ever tried from them is the marshmallow one. This one, if you don't like fragrance in your cosmetics, I totally understand, but this one does have a little bit of a fragrance of a fragrance. And you know what? I should have told you that these glazed lip paints from LA Girl, they have a minty fragrance to them. They're not cooling or any sort of plumping or anything, but they do have a little bit of a mint fragrance to them, just so you know that. But this one from NYX, the marshmallow primer has a very strong fragrance. I don't mind it. It doesn't hang around very long. I love the product though. It just works so well for me. And this is the probably the most perfecting primer that I've ever tried. The Revlon one, again, it is my runner up, but this one has just kind of stolen the show. I wear this one all the time. I do love e.l.f. Putty Primer, but I think I like this one more. I think that the properties in it, it just feels like it slips across your skin. It feels like it really fills in my pores, and then foundation just glides across it. Um, does it help with wear time of foundation? Any primer that you put on that has a little bit of that silicone in it is going to be, because the purpose of it is actually to create a barrier between that moisturizer and your foundation, because that's what happens during the day, and that's why we wear primer primers is our foundation gets sucked into our skin by the moisture and so it can break apart it can look cakey because that moisture is coming through and a primer like this is really good because it holds that at bay now that i've let that set down and i'm just running my hand across it it just feels fantastic and you can see that both of them were quite perfecting but i still feel like this right here is a little bit more perfected especially when i'm looking at it up close i will try to get it a little bit closer but that is so hard with these lights that we use the big ring lights that we use and then another thing is their color correcting palette I actually heard about this from Stephanie Marie. She was talking about how this is a very emollient formula. It's a very creamy formula that she likes almost as well as she likes Charlotte Tilbury. She was kind of giving that by this, not that. I feel like it's a very good dupe for the Stila color correcting palette. It has a couple extra colors in here, but what I love about it is that it's so creamy. And if you have very dry, mature under eyes, this is one that you might really like. The other thing is that you get to try so many different ones. Like I was talking about the green from LA Girl. By the way, that formula would be better if you were a little bit more oily. And if you have a lot of sweating or menopausal sweating like I do in the summertime. So you have the purple. If you don't know what purple is for, it's for brightening a very sallow complexion. So if you have a very dull complexion, that one works really good. Be very careful with any color corrector you use. I should probably do a color correcting video where I do my whole face and just kind of use every color so that you guys can see how they are used. You don't want to use the color too much. I was going to say abuse the color, but you don't want to use it too much because if you're fair, it's going to come through in your foundation. If you're darker, it's going to make your foundation look a little patchy. So you just want to find that little happy medium. Yellow is uh, again for the opposite of purple. So if you do have those really bad under eyes and yours lean towards purple, not blue, then you would want to try that. And then these two peach ones, you have two different ones to choose from a deeper peach and then and a lighter peach and then this one right here i have really been enjoying this since i started self tanning it's one of those ones that i've been using on extra spots that i couldn't cover with concealer here's the yellow one let me just pick that one up here's the yellow one you're not going to be able to see that very well because of my silly self tan but you get the general idea of what it's like i love the formula on it if you just use it light enough it won't show through any um, complexion products that you do use on top of it. It's just a really nice palette. NYX was the first to have a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Little Micro Fine Tip Eyebrow Pencil. Basically, it is just a uber micro small tipped pencil. 
it can be so wispy so nice the other thing this is called ash brown it's the perfect color for me my hair is very ashy dishwater brown normally so my eyebrows are that color on the other side it does have a spoolie but this is a perfect color for me it just works out so well it stays really well on your brows as well and i really like that about it and then if you want a brow product that is keeping your brows in place what few hairs i do have are kind of crazy and they point all different directions but the brow glue from them is so good i really really like this this is going to keep your brows in place if you wanted to wear it to bed your brows would be in place in the morning let's just say that it has a very very small little spoolie down there on the end so you got a, a precise applicator which i really like i do have a tendency to kind of wipe it off a little bit because it is a very sticky formula the reason that i say sticky is because it acts like glue it just really puts them in place and keeps them and holds them in place i really have loved this i heard about this one from risa does makeup love that this mascara is what i have on today and if you guys can see what my eyelashes look today look like today i am in love with this when i first got it first used it i was like this isn't that great but what i found that i wasn't doing was creating second coats because normally when i go in with a second coat my eyelashes are going to clump together and just be like two or three little spikes out <laughs> This, that doesn't happen with this. I can go back in and tip my eyelashes or even go back in and thicken them up a little bit. After the first coat, it has a very, very small hourglass shape on there. It's almost like a straight wand. I don't know why they just didn't do a straight wand. I don't mind the shape of that at all. It does a really great job at catching every single little hair. This is the waterproof formula. I probably didn't even say what this is called. It is called the Doll Eye Mascara, and this is the waterproof formula. I love the waterproof mascaras in the summer because I will inevitably get smudging almost every single time i can wear it all day and again i'll have it on when i go to bed it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge i really like it it's a mascara that i would have never picked up because i haven't had great luck with the nyx um, mascaras before but this one is a winner i really like it a lot i have forever forever been in love with the nyx butter glosses and i'm about to show you my collection of them here they are. I love this formula. I have, how many do I have here? One, two, three, seven. I have seven right here. That's a lot, but I like them all. I fell in love with this formula and these glosses long before I had my YouTube channel. I want to say that it was like 10 years ago. So I just want to swatch them all for you. This one is meringue. These are an opaque formula as well. They give you a beautiful juicy look to your lips. This one right here is called creme brulee. It's a nude color. That one is kind of that orchid color that we were talking about earlier in the LA Girl. This one is creme brulee, very nude color. Really like that one. I pair that one with just about any lip liner and it just goes with them so well. This next one is called cinnamon roll. This is a very like almost a raisiny color. I love it. It's a very kind of a deep mauve -y color. I wear it more in the winter because of its color because I like a little bit brighter lip in the summer. Like that one a lot. I like the scent on these. These do have a scent by the way kind of a vanilla -y scent. This one is vanilla cream pie. This one is kind of a bright pink, um, more along the lines of a true pink. Really like that one too. And then the next one is Eclair. This one is a very, very blue pink. It's kind of a lighter version of that orchid, that brighter orchid that we're talking about. Everybody's coming to say hi. And then this one is called Marshmallow. This one, I have to pair this one with my coloring because I do have such cool coloring. This one kind of gets a little bit, kind of a little bit lost on my lips. So I do have to pair this one with something brighter, but I really like that one too. And then last but not least is my very favorite tiramisu. This one I wear constantly. I have it on today underneath everything that you were seeing. And it's just one of those ones that again, pairs so well with just about any color lip liner, warm or dark. And that is all of them right there.
and that is it for today's video about all of the NYX and the LA Girl. I hope that you did enjoy seeing so many of my products. I loved bringing them to you. Make sure you tell me about any that you love that I haven't talked about here today. And make sure you go check out that LA Girl video because I'm telling you, those shadows are amazing. And I had to do a dedicated video just to them. So thanks for being with me. I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye friends. <laughs>